It is now time to venture into the world of pivot tables. Pivot tables are arguably the most powerful feature Excel has. It will allow you to quickly manipulate data and make it easier to do analyses and draw conclusions. Understanding how pivot tables work is an absolute must for anyone working in an analytical role. In the following sections, we're going to use the insurance data set from previous lectures. To start, I'll demonstrate how to create a pivot table, and once we have one up and running, we'll talk about what you see after you create one and how you can manipulate it. To create a pivot table is very straightforward. You're going to start by highlighting all the data you want included in the pivot table. This is a good time to use the keystrokes from earlier in the course. To select all the data showing on the screen, I'll press Control Shift and the down arrow, and then the right arrow, to highlight the entire selection. Then, go to the Insert ribbon and click on Pivot Table. The Create Pivot Table pop-up will appear, and you just need to click OK. Once you've done this, a couple things will happen. The pivot table will appear on a new sheet in your workbook, and the pivot table builder will also pop up on the right of your screen. At first, the pivot table will appear blank, but this is just the starting point. In the next lecture, we're going to talk about how to navigate a pivot table, but so far, this is simply how you create one. But if you close your eyes